All right, and here is our tiny house. We have double outswing French doors right here. The entire house is walled shiplap, including the ceiling as well. We have wood studs as our framework and a plywood shelf, three quarter inch pressure treated plywood. In between there, we have standard R13 insulation. We have three windows here on this wall. One's a little bit smaller here, kind of in the living area. A larger one over here, just kind of separating the living room and the kitchen. And then one directly over our farmhouse sink. All of these appliances are included. Our microwave, our stove and oven, which are propane fueled, and our refrigerator as well. Stepping back, looking at our stairs, which also double as storage or closet space down here. Just a little small little drawer. We have a door right here. We actually use this to put shoes. Then we have three larger drawers down here. Perfect for putting clothes. Very large one right here. And then one just above it. We have another drawer. And they all pull out just about the entire length, entire width of this step. In here, this is where we hung our clothes, but just a nice little hanging space and really large open closet. This is a 70 pound propane tank, which will also be included with the house. Like I said earlier in another video, it powers our propane tank. And coming over to our larger area, we hung our clothes up in here. We have a 70 pound propane tank that we're just keeping in here for now that, like I said in another video, the propane tank will power our stove and oven. It also powers our hot water heater outside. Then we also have just a perfect little size refrigerator for this house. It also has a freezer up top. And walking over here into our kitchen area, we have a lot of space in these drawers down here. We also have more space in this little cabinet area underneath our sink. We have our beautiful farmhouse sink that we absolutely loved. Down in here, we actually use this kind of as our pantry area. Each of these three drawers was perfect. We used that for food, but also for plates, silverware, and so forth. We have a nice little stove oven that we cooked on very regularly and we loved it. And then just three more drawers right in here. And then transitioning into our bathroom area, we have six feet, three inches from the floor up to the ceiling. Stepping in, we have a nice vanity sink. There's a little mirror. Under here we have more area for storage. We have three more drawers. Very long, can hold a lot of different things. We have also our laundry machine our washer dryer. It is a Whirlpool brand, so it's very nice. All the hardware on the interior is very sound. The only thing that needs replacing is this turn knob. If you pull it out, uh, this clip right here that grips onto the knob stripped. So this little turn piece does need replacing, but that's the only thing that needs replacing. We have another window and a composting toilet. 
This house was not designed to have any black water. We only have gray water coming from the sinks and the tub shower. And we have a full size bathtub that also has a shower head. Inside the bathtub, from the floor up to the ceiling, we have six feet clearance. We had to raise our tub off the ground just a little bit to allow for the trap for the plumbing to flow freely out of the house. And then coming back out this way is our living room. We had a full sized couch in here as well as a pack and play for our baby to sleep. And we still had plenty of room. Very spacious. We did not want our tiny house to feel crammed or small, but just to feel like a normal size house. Also the open ceilings just definitely added for more of a spacious feeling. And over on this wall, we have our mini split. It is electrically powered. It has AC and heating. And for such a small area for this tiny house, it's very strong. So it will heat up and cool off no matter what the environment is saying outside.